Hi guys, so let's now move on to 9A. Arabella has given you the uh, following financial information. Uh, so we can see the uh, large beanbag uh, chair uh, has a weekly production target or sales level of 36, selling price of 18 pounds, and materials per bag 275 plus 350 uh, filling per bag. She pays her employee a weekly wage of £190 for 20 hours of work. Each beanbag chair takes 30 minutes to complete. She has annual uh, fixed cost £3,780. Calculate the variable cost of each large beanbag chair. Okay, so this is a three mark question. You can see uh, the candidate here has got three out of three here. Let's look at the way that they've done this. Of course, they've started out by identifying uh, the materials plus the filling cost, okay? It's 275 plus three pound 50. That equals six pound 25. The slightly trickier bit, of course, now is to work out the wage of 190 pounds for 20 hours of work. And bear in mind that it takes 30 minutes to actually make each beanbag. So 190 divided by 20, as we can see, would equal nine pound 50 per hour. Okay, um, so therefore it takes half hour to make, so that is four pounds seventy five. So six twenty five plus four seventy five equals eleven pounds. So there we have the answer there. Uh, just checking that on the mark scheme here, so we can see. Uh, that you get credit for just doing a simple calculation. So even if you're not sure how to actually get the uh, right final answer, do show your working because you will get credit that will enable you to get some marks there. Okay, so that's significant. Uh, and as we can see there, the uh, final price is £11, okay, highlighted at the top there. Okay, so let's move it on and let's have a look at the next question, uh, which is with regard to break even. Okay, so uh, if we just come down here, we can see we've now got to work out um, uh, the weekly production target of 36 beanbag chairs, calculate the margin of safety for the year. So we saw that it uh, stated the fixed costs up here are £3,780. So the fixed cost divided by the contribution of, is, of course, the break-even point. Uh, so to work this out, we can see 3780 uh, divided by price, 18, minus the variable cost, which is 11. Incidentally, if you didn't get the variable cost right in the last answer, you'd still get credit on the mark scheme here. So then we can see that that breaks down to 3780 divided by 7 equals 540 to break even. Okay, so uh, that's, that's nice and straightforward. So then we just need to think, right, so what is the likely margin of safety given uh, this annual level of sales? Now, remember, with this, we must establish that this is for the year. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, the weekly production target of 36. So, therefore, we need to actually do this calculation of 52 weeks in the year times the 36 equals a maximum level of production, maximum level of sales of 1,872. So as we take that 1,872 and deduct our break-even point, that gives us a margin of safety of 1,332. And we can see that the candidate has got four out of four here. Uh, so it's a good response. Let's just check that against uh, the mark scheme. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go, okay, 1,332. But remember, if you're not sure how to get this, uh, make sure you put your working down, because you'll get some credit for it. Okay, see you on the next video, guys.